it's like a big pyramid. The farmer that grows the grain to feed the horses and the hay and the straw. And the people that sell vehicles, horse trailers. All involved. A lot of lives depend on the horses. Horses are our job creators, and the more horses that come into New York State, create more jobs from here to the deli. Every racehorse in New York creates $93,000 in revenue for the state. For every 100 New York racehorses, there are 75 jobs for New Yorkers. I love the business. And they're off. He's not yet steady on his feet, but this future racehorse already has a lot riding on his spindly legs. Horse racing is big business in New York. The equine industry employs more than 33,000 New Yorkers statewide, contributing more than $4 billion to the economy and provides the state with more than $187 million in taxes annually. Every foal born in New York affects the lives and the livelihoods of thousands of members of the New York workforce. This network starts at the numerous breeding and boarding farms in the rural areas of upstate New York. It grows to include the training facilities and the sales grounds in the Central, Capital and Hudson Valley regions. It expands until it reaches the 11 racetracks in New York State. Here's Androvet now. Androvet taking over. And it doesn't stop there. There are a myriad of businesses supported directly and indirectly by New York horse racing. Accountants, blacksmiths, contractors, deli owners, equine therapists, and veterinarians, feed store owners, hotels, insurance agents, jockeys. The list of jobs spans the alphabet. Ten years ago, I had four people working for me. Now I approximately got 28 people working for me. I ha have about 50 people working for me, and, and it's year-round employment. We keep uh, anywhere from uh, 100 to 150 horses in training uh, throughout the year, which uh, will give us about 100 to 125 employees. We've taken on more and more people. I think we're up to 32 now, and that's 10 people more than it was when the VLT le legislation was first passed. This is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. And uh, I think happy, I enjoy it. I really enjoy what I'm doing it. And I wish I can have another 40 years to work on it. The boys want to be farmers. And, and Sarah, our daughter, she says the same thing now, she's eight. There's generations of people that work here that, that depend on this farm. Every racehorse in New York creates more jobs and contributes to a vibrant industry and a healthy state and local economy. We cater to the equine business and from Saratoga down to Hudson, New York. Uh, we deal with a lot of large breeders. Um, we've seen it come up, we see it go down, and unfortunately right now we're seeing it in an increased mode. We have the local suppliers, uh, that, that we have the Coca-Cola beer, we have the uh, local uh, suppliers of vegetables and the meat. So we're doing some quiet business with the local uh, merchandisers up here. I have noticed on my farms more clients coming from different states, Florida, Kentucky, New Jersey, um, bringing their mares to New York to foal and that's very exciting for us. I've been really excited about the opportunities that we're seeing. We're seeing farms that have been closed for years reopen. Uh, they're gutting their facilities, uh, putting you know beautiful new um, pieces of equipment in to basically move forward with the industry in the state. We've grown and grown each year and, and, and keeps a lot of people going, that's for sure. The investment in New York's horse racing industry is strong and it is growing. In 2001, the New York legislature created a partnership with the racetracks, allowing the operation of racinos within the state. In addition to developing a generous revenue stream for New York's educational system and promoting jobs within the entertainment and tourism industries, the Racino model has provided a basis for maintaining and encouraging the development of equine agriculture. As a result, there are new farms and training facilities across the state, which equates to more than 1.3 million acres of open land in 50 different New York counties, protected from overdevelopment.
Since the inception of Harness Racinos in New York in 2001, the number of standard bred mares bred in the state has risen 70%. Most dramatically, following the opening of the Aqueduct Racino in 2011, the number of thoroughbreds born in New York this year is up 39.4%. Each new foal brought into the world in New York brings with it new jobs and an increased need for land and new construction and for the goods and services supplied by local and statewide businesses. The revenue these foals generate in stud fees and in purses earned is revenue that will be reinvested in the industry and the state. Now that we have this new infusion of money, there's uh, an incredible uh, refound interest in New York State from the breeding end to the racing end. Owners are expanding, owners are buying New York breads, owners are bringing horses from other states uh, in, into New York uh, because of the lucre of purses. What currently separates New York racing is, uh, is with the VLT supplements, the purses are the, are the best in the country and what we've seen is new horses come in, new, new, uh, new owners and uh, especially new stallions and uh, the breeding industry has really taken off because of that and that's, that's creating a lot of new jobs as well. It's improved the product which we said it would do when the VLTs came in. Uh, we have some of the best race horses now are bred in New York State and are racing in the top uh, quality racing. Uh, we've set many records this year with uh, New York breds. It's an undeniable economic engine to the state, not just in Saratoga, I mean, across the state, because it's not just the racing product, it's all behind the scenes uh, industries, the breeding, uh, the hay sales, the tractors, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that go into raising a horse. And it's great for the, for the racing industry, but it's also great for the agriculture industry as well. More people are now becoming involved in the industry statewide, in all areas of it, and um, we went, we'll keep, we're going to keep them um, all employed and, and working hard, you know, from the farmers to the people who, who grow, grow hay and deliver the hay and ship the horses and feed the horses and the ferriers and the vets. I mean, the list goes on, um, you know, forever, uh, but it's just an important industry for the state. It's all jobs for people. And, and like I say, it's not a, always the high-end jobs. A lot of the jobs that are being created are the middle range jobs that they're not there anywhere else. We definitely um, have 1,200 employees that count on Naira, count on our business, you know, to survive and to support their families. In the race industry, um, we're looking at about 42,000, a little over 42,000 acres of harvested hay. Um, that provides uh, not only jobs, but also maintains uh, farms and farmers. Institutions such as Cornell University, SUNY Mooresville, SUNY Cobbleskill, Casadovia College, and an active New York 4-H horse program offer equine experience and educational degrees in such diverse areas as farrier training to veterinary science. A growing New York equine industry will ensure that the graduates of these programs will be able to obtain employment within the state. New York's revitalized horse racing industry is right on track. We showcase the very best the sport has to offer while providing tens of thousands of jobs to New Yorkers and pumping millions upon millions of dollars into the state's economy. Our industry is a, is a tax base generator. We not only provide jobs and, and preserve green space here, but we also provide a ton of tax dollars and revenue to the state in terms of property taxes, agribusiness taxes, paramutual taxes. Right now we're at the tip of the iceberg. This is just the beginning of the growth period. And what would happen if the VLT revenue goes away? Virtually out of business. Five Points has been here for a for hundred years probably, um, but not so sure it'd be here for 101. If something happens, I would definitely have to move. Um, I'd have to go where the money is. I, I train for pretty good people in the business and they want to go where the money is. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't afford to raise a family if, uh, if, if something bad happened in New York. This is 700 acres uh, uh, separated by a town and county road and developers would love to come put 135 McMansions here and that plan's been drawn up and it's on the desk. There would be so many jobs lost for everybody and I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't have any backup plans and this is their life, this is all they know. We needed it, it's not a subsidy. We've been working very hard for decades, basically breaking even and, and really scraping by here. Uh, people, people think that we're all out here and we're making a ton of money, well, believe me, we aren't. Everyone is looking at us and everyone realizes how important it is that New York survive and do well because if, if New York does bad, the whole industry does bad. They're our showcase. The importance of New York 
racing transcends the borders of New York and is important to every, every person in thoroughbred racing in the United States. If we protect and promote the horse racing industry, New York can't lose.